Okay, so I asked Perplexity to summarize this product page from Amazon for me and just a few seconds later it came back with the result and it told me that this product is a mobile gaming controller from the company called 8 Do, and it is indeed 100% correct. This is the product page and Perplexity is able to visit the link and summarize the content for me which is something that not going to happen very often but in some cases Perplexity may visit the link but the problem is this behavior is very much unpredictable and there is a good chance that if you are asking Perplexity to visit a link to summarize content or research something from a specific link then there is a good chance it's not going to return the answer to you it's just telling you that it is unable to do so but there is actually a simple way to essentially force Perplexity to visit any link that you provided so today I'm going to show you the trick that I've been using to force Perplexity to visit any link or multiple links in your prompt and return the answer. This trick requires no extra tool and it is just a simple addition to your prompt. So let's get into it. All right, now I'm on the Perplexity homepage and I'm about to show you how you can force this AI tool to visit any link from your AI prompt. And the ability to visit any link is not only very helpful for doing some research, but also if you want to create a blog post for a website and you want to get resources from specific links, then you could definitely use this trick which is actually the kind of thing that i do almost every day and by the way if you're a content creator and you want to create a unique content for your website i do recommend using a list of banned words words like delve uh, tapestry uh, ultimate robust mastering are some of the words that ai often use and you want to eliminate that from your content so you can uh, get a much more unique and also very human content if you are interested you can get this list in the link in the video description now let's go back to perplexity and i'm going to show you how you can force this tool to visit any link that he provided and for the test i'm going to be using this uh, url this is an amazon url the reason of why i'm using this url is because first uh, this product this sorry this product which is an ar glasses actually just released about a week ago so the ai model in perplexity has no idea about what is this product is about and also the second thing that i really like from this uh, Amazon link is because there is no indication or there is no readable words on the link. It's just some random string of letters and numbers. And so the AI model has no chance to uh, hallucinate the content or try to guess the content of the page based on the link. And if you're using something like uh, this link from New Atlas, you'll see that this URL is already quite describing the content. You don't have to read the whole content, but the permalink is good enough for the AI to start to recreate the content and it's essentially just hallucination and we don't want to have that. So I'm using this Amazon link to make sure that Perplexity will visit the link and won't hallucinate. I'm going to ask Perplexity to what is the product is about. So this is the prompt. I'm not going to copy and paste. I'm going to just type it because it is very short. The prompt is visit the link. If you can't visit the link, use the link as the keyword of your research so perplexity is actually powered by some sort of search engines under the hood and if you are asking something uh, in your prompt perplexity will decipher your prompt and put some keywords into its internal search engines and therefore it is able to search content based on the prompt or based on the keywords from your prompt but if you are forcing perplexity to use the link as the keyword there is a good chance that the link might appear on the search result on the perplexity search engine and therefore perplexity can read the content and can return the answer back to you this is very similar like when you are using a link not to visit the page but to search it on google like if i copy this link let's say i go to google and i just paste the url right here and if i hit enter google will return the answer of the product so this is the answer and this is the same way perplexity works so we can force Perplexity to use the link as the keyword and I'm going to hit enter oh by the way I think I'm not going to use this first I'm going to do some test to show you that Perplexity has no idea about this product let's hit enter and see uh, Perplexity is going to just refuse my query or it will just hallucinate the content and there you go yeah it's giving me the answer that this product is Apple 2023 MacBook Pro laptop which is not this is an AR glasses this is the product of course this is 
obvious that Placidity is just hallucinating. Now, I'm going to do the research again. Uh, I will, uh, sorry about that. I'm going to edit the keyword and I'm going to add the last prompt that I provided and let's hit enter. Now, this time around, Placidity should be able to gather information about this product and therefore it can read the content and return the most accurate answer. And there you go, the product is the Xreal One AR glasses and this is correct. So just a simple addition to the prompt will make Perplexity visit the link that you provided. Pretty cool, right? And it doesn't matter what AI model that you're using on Perplexity. You could be using the Pro Search, Cloud, uh, GPT, Sonar, Grok, etc. And Perplexity is still able to visit the link and give you a very accurate answer. So there you have it. That's how you can force Perplexity to visit any link from your Perplexity prompt. So if you are interested to learn more about some extra prompts or unique prompts that would be very useful in perplexity then check out this video and i'll see you there